Hey everyone! Today we're going to be designing an otter pool party scene. So I'm going to be drawing in Sharpie so that you can see what I'm drawing, but I'm going to suggest that you do your design in pencil first and use a large piece of paper. We're going to be designing our otters from above, looking down on them, so it will be an aerial view like this. Here's a simple line drawing. Two otter friends swimming side by side. Here's a very simple drawing that's been colored in. This is one of my personal favorites. I love the turning body and also the way the feet are depicted are so adorable. Here's a very simple image with a decorative background and some flowers. Here's an otter family and you can see each one has a slightly different expression on their face and these little droplets of water on their bodies. And notice the rings of water around them. You can use whatever accessories you'd like to decorate your otter. This is also one of my favorites. I love the variety of poses and positions and the simplicity of the lines and the shapes. And last but not least. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna design a pair of otters near the center of my paper. So since this is a pool party, I'm also gonna be adding lots of fun toys. I'm gonna to put an inner tube down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna have a baby otter up here floating on an air mattress with a popsicle. You can start with an oval shape like this for your otter. And we'll do a little baby on its belly. And the rest of this tail is going to be underwater. So if you look at these two otters I've drawn here, you'll see there's a basic oval shape to start with and then a circular head on top of it. Once you have those two parts, you can go back and fill in the rest of the details. Same here, start with an, a long oval shape and then add a circle on top and then the tail and the, the other uh, shapes of the otter. So over here, we're going to have another otter that's got some kind of delicious beverage with an umbrella in it and is wearing a sombrero. Do an otter over here with just the head sticking out of the water and then a little bit of the body is going to be visible underwater. So this is going to be the part that's underwater. Some foreshortening there. Down here I thought we'd have an otter sticking its head out of the water with an inner tube and a sea star on its head. I thought it would be fun to have a seagull and a heron crashing our pool party. So just remember, we're drawing these images as if we're looking down on them. We're doing an aerial view. And the seagull is going to have a kawaii taco in its mouth. That is, this taco is a little bit distressed because it's about to be eaten. Over here, I'm going to do a heron. So it's gonna be really similar to the seagull, but it's gonna have a much longer beak. And it's gonna have a burrito in its mouth. This burrito is also going to have a distressed look on its face because it's about to be eaten. Do a beach ball over here. 
can decide if you have any other water toys or water balloons or other fun pool objects you'd like to add to your otter pool party. As you can see, I added goggles to the otter on the left. I also added an otter pop to this one over here. Once you are done designing your otter pool party scene, you're gonna go back with an ultra fine Sharpie and trace over your pencil marks. And when you're all finished doing that, you're going to erase your pencil marks. I recommend coloring in your otters with a variety of light brown and dark brown colors and blending them together. Okay, I'm gonna do my otter face muzzle area lighter. I'm gonna do the bellies a lighter color as well. And then I'm gonna blend them in to a darker color. I've now colored in my seagull and my kawaii taco and my pelican and kawaii burrito. Okay, so I used watercolor pencils. So I'm going back with a wet brush and I'm going over what I've colored. So again, you only wanna do this if you used watercolor pencils. So before you color in your water, I'm gonna recommend doing a white and blue crayon, uh, little circles around your otter, like waves, ripples. And you can do this with the blue crayon and with a white crayon. So here are two examples that show how we can take that white crayon and do rings around our otters. You can do that with the blue crayon as well. And then these lines here too, you can do similar lines with your white and blue crayons around the otters and the other objects in your pool. Okay, so once you finish adding several different colors of blue swirls and white crayon, notice I used at least three different colors of blue. You're gonna take some of your blue from your watercolor tray and put it in the lid, and then you're gonna add a bunch of water to it, water it down really nicely. It's very important to do this um, because if you take it directly from here, it's gonna be too dark. It's gonna make your picture images disappear and hard to see. So you want this really light color blue to paint over your background. And notice how the white crayon and the blue crayon uh, resist the watercolor. Now to see how this part of the otter is underwater, so I'm painting blue over it. And this part's above water. Ta-da! Okay, well... <laughs>